Three signs that your friends are losers. Let's get started. Now, this is gonna be a very important coaching video, and the reason why is because in order to become successful in life, or in anything for that matter, one of the most important aspects to becoming successful is that you surround yourself with the right people. Because there's a saying that goes, you show me five of your friends and I will tell you exactly who you are. And it's true. I mean, you could show me three of your friends and I can tell you exactly who you are. I can tell you with great accuracy where you are going to end up if you continue to be friends with these people, whether they be winners or losers, right? I can tell you exactly where you're gonna be because you are the average of your five top friends, okay? Your five best friends that you hang out with the most. You are the average of those five people. And now with the advent of YouTube and the internet, you don't have to be actual friends with these people physically. I mean, they could be mentors that you follow on YouTube. So when it comes to choosing your friends, it's going to make a huge difference in how successful or how unsuccessful you are in life, okay? And today I'm going to give you my top three signs for spotting friends that are losers so that you can cut them off, okay? Because as I teach my students, you know what? You should be choosing your friends like an NFL draft. The people you allow into your life should be chosen just like it would be an NFL draft. You guys ever watch an NFL combine where they're picking the new players? Each team is looking for the potential first round draft pick. You should be the exact same way. You should be looking for the best, highest quality people, both male and female, that you can add to your life. That will help energize you, make you more passionate about life, help you become more successful, more knowledgeable, more enlightened, more empathetic towards other people. Right? Those are all the qualities of a, a high value person. You should be looking to surround yourself with people like that. Not low value, low caliber, low quality, toxic, negative little worms. And there are plenty of them out there, guys. There are plenty of them out there. We call them Democrats. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just joking. We call them liberals. We call them SJWs. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. All right. But seriously. You wanna look for these signs in every friend that you allow in your life because you don't want friends who are gonna come into your life and zap you of energy, okay? Male or female, this includes your dating partner, okay? Because if you're dating a girl, she's technically, especially if it's a serious relationship, she's technically like a best friend, right? She's somebody you're spending a lot of time with. And if she's toxic, she's constantly picking fights with you and constantly nitpicking at you and ball busting you, then guess what? She's zapping you of energy. She, she's zapping you of energy and she's bringing down your state. Anybody who brings down your state, you need to cut off, okay? Especially if it's somebody you're spending a lot of time with, like a dating partner or a best friend, right? Especially if it's like a male best friend. That's pathetic. When a guy acts like a woman like that, he just starts being toxic and starts like poison dripping you like a chick would. <laughs> cut that dude off. You don't need him. I don't care if you've been friends with the guy since high school, since grade school. You know what? Time to part ways because your life should be treated like an NFL draft, okay? Every person you let in there into your life is going to make a huge difference. I like to equate it to being on a boat, right? Say you're on a boat, you can only fit so many people in your boat. And in order to get from point A to point B in your boat, you have to have everybody rowing Right? You have to have everybody paddling in the same direction. If you got one jackass in your boat who's a wise ass and he's gonna pedal in the wrong direction just to piss everyone off or just to you know, throw a monkey wrench in your program because he thinks it's funny, because he wants to get his little two second dirty high of feeling good about himself by bringing you down to his little miserable state, then guess what? You gotta kick that guy overboard. Right? You got to kick his ass overboard because it's better that you get rid of him and you have everyone paddling in the same direction. Make sense? So think of your life like a boat. You're trying to get from point A to point B. Right? You're trying to get from the coping stage to the thriving stage. And everybody you put on that boat that's going to be in your life has to be paddling in the same direction. Okay? You got to be paddling in the same direction. 
And it's gonna be hard to find these people, I'm not gonna lie. It's not gonna be easy. Cause it's easy to go out there and just put anybody on your boat. It's gonna be easy to go out there and add anybody to your life and just kinda like kick open the doors to your life like it's a community college and just let everyone in. That's easy, but that's not what you wanna do. Because if you do that, like most people do, you're just gonna let, end up like most people are, right? If you do what everybody else does, you're gonna end up like everybody else will, right? Which is pretty average for the most part. You don't wanna be average, you wanna go above being average, right? Because you're not here on this earth to be below average, right? You're here to be better than that. You're here to become the best version of yourself. And again, the people you surround yourself with, including the mentors you follow on YouTube, the people you surround yourself with are going to have a, make a huge impact on the type of person that you become next year and the year after that. And this is why, you know, me personally, um, I don't watch prank channels. I don't play video games. I don't, I just don't spend my time doing that stuff. You know, I don't, I'm, I'm careful of the channels I subscribe to. I'm probably only subscribed to like four or five channels on YouTube and they're all high value guys. They're all guys who are kicking ass they're all guys who are taking no prisoners. They're all guys who are very stoic. None of them have this victimhood mentality like, oh, the world's against me because I'm this or because I'm that. I'm so oppressed. I'm so oppressed. I can never get ahead in life. You know, I grew up in that type of environment, by the way. I had a lot of family members like, who are like that. It's like, you can't get rich unless you know somebody who's rich. That's just the way it is. And it's like, no, man, that's not the way it is. I'm so glad I... I had enough fortitude, even at a young age, to trust my own instincts and to just go for it anyway. It kind of reminds me of some of these like, like PUA haters who are like, oh, it's a scam, it's all a scam, it's all about looks, money, status. And it's like, really dude, really? You know, a lot, it's funny because a lot of these guys who run those kind of channels are always like, not bad looking. These guys are, a lot of them are better looking than I am younger than I am, in better shape than I am. And I'm like, are you seriously saying it's all about looks, money, status? When you yourself can go out there and probably get a hot girl if you didn't spend so much time bitching about pickup artists and how it's all a scam and it's all about looks and women only want looks and money. It's like maybe if you didn't spend so much time doing that and you act actually went out there and started applying this shit, you would realize maybe you would do okay right? And you wouldn't be such a little worm, a toxic little worm. It's like, dude, even if you're a five in looks, do you seriously need to date a perfect 10, a supermodel? You telling me that you can't get a girl who's at least one or two points above you? You can't get at least a six or a seven? Maybe even if you push your luck an eight, are you that much of a little bitch that you can't do that? Do you suck that bad? Seriously? Anyway, let's bang on with this coaching video, okay, before I keep banging on. So, three signs that your friends are losers. Let's crack into the first sign. Okay, so the first sign that your friends are losers, speaking of which, is that everything to them is a scam. Everything's a scam, whether it's picking up girls, you're making more money, getting into better shape, everything is a scam. You can't do it. You know, those guys with six pack abs, they have like 10 trainers. You know, those guys who are getting rich online, they're just scamming everyone. Can't you see? Those pickup artists, they're all good looking. It's looks, money, and status. Right, everything to them is a scam. They're so pessimistic. They are such little bitches. And they have so little belief in themselves that they think anybody out there who's successful is obviously a scam. It's gotta be a scam. It can't be real because I'm, I, because I suck, everybody else must suck, right? It's just because they're sucking, they think automatically everyone else is sucking. And anyone who's successful, it's a scam, it's a scam. They don't believe that they can be successful, right? They are afraid to take risks, okay? And if you've got a guy in your life who is that pessimistic and that afraid of taking risks, and has that little belief in himself. Do you think that guy could add value to your life? Do you think that guy is gonna make you want to believe in yourself? Do you think that guy is going to help you in any way, shape, or form? 
No, of course not. He's just going to bring you down to his level. Okay, he is just going to bring you down to his level. That's all he's going to do. Because when you surround yourself around somebody who is negative and toxic like that, guess what you become? You become negative and toxic too. Okay, you will stop believing in yourself too. You will start looking at everything like it's a scam too. You will start adopting his bullshit mindset because misery loves company and you will become exactly like he is. Okay, when I first started researching for how to start an online business, this was, I wanna say the mid 2000s, like probably around like 2008, around the time I was leaving my corporate job. When I was researching this stuff, there was one guy, a couple guys I came across. Uh, one, his name was Jeff Walker. He does like product launches. And then there was another guy named, I cannot remember his name, but there were a few of them. They were like online marketers, right? And whenever I would research these guys, everybody out there's like, well, not everybody, but you know, he had a good number of haters like, Jeff Walker's a scam, he's a scam, look at him. And then the other guy I was uh, learning from too online, he was like, oh, that guy's a scam too, da da da. And then like on the forums, I would ask, well, have you bought in the program? Have you tried to apply the technique? No, I'm not gonna pay him any money. No, because it's a scam. It's like, okay, well, but how do you know? Like, what did he do? And it's like, it just is, you know, and then, they, they, then they point and sputter. Like literally point, sputter, and stutter. I mean, I was at a point where I was desperate. I'm like, I'm just gonna try because I'm not, I mean, I'm pessimistic to a certain degree, but I'm also pretty optimistic. I believe in myself and I'm like, okay, even if these guys are a scam, there's gotta be a reason why they're so popular and they're so big. They, they've gotta have some kind of value to teach. Because one thing I've learned is you don't get that big. You don't gain that type of an audience unless you're giving value to, value to people's lives. Right? You can't do that. You have to be giving value to people's lives. I mean, right now, like I have over 100,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. And I still get like these low-level toxic little worms with these, their minuscule, like 2,000 person subscriber channels trying to piggyback on mine and being like, look at the scam, at the scam, he's a pickup artist. You know, and it's like, dude, seriously, man, are you serious? I've been in business over two decades. I have over 100,000 subscribers, thousands of students around the world who are sending me thank you letters every single day. Do you think I could have been in business this long and built this many subscribers, 100,000 plus, by being a scam, you moron? You know, so at this point, at some point, you have to realize when your friends are just losers, okay? And this is one of the biggest signs, is when they think everything's a scam. Now, does this mean that you should not be like careful or <coughs> pessimistic when buying things that you, you know, where you don't know the creator yet? Of course not. Of course you should vet them, right? Of course you should vet them and you should see what they're about. You know, in my case, you could easily go through any of my YouTube videos and they're all free, right? I upload a ton of value to YouTube and you could just look in the comment section. You could like look at the overwhelming amount of positive comments to negative comments. I believe I have like probably one of the highest like to lowest dislike ratios out of any red pill content creator or any pickup artist, any pickup coach out there. I think I have like a one to 3% dislike ratio, which is insane, right? It's insanely low to the amount of likes that I have, right? Like I can get say 5,000 likes on a coaching video that I do, and I'll probably have like maybe 15, 20 dislikes on that video. It's insane, right? It's insane the low amount of dislikes to the high amount of likes that I'll get on these coaching videos. You can easily look in the comments section too to see what other guys are saying, right? The value that I'm providing in their lives. A lot of guys too who will comment that have gotten into my programs whether it be Seven Months of Mastery or my premium Alpha Male Secrets channel, you see these guys commenting all the time, like, thank you, oh my God, I'm learning so much. You know, it's the best money I've ever spent in my life. 
and you're like the big brother I've never had, you're the father I've never had, where were you 10 years ago, or oh, you could have saved me millions of dollars by not marrying my ex-wife if I had this material sooner, you know, and I've even stopped guys from marrying the wrong women, easily probably saved them millions of dollars in divorce court, because a lot of these guys have, you know, they're high value guys, they have businesses, they're CEOs of companies, so they have a lot of money at stake, and they were able to come across my content and avoid marrying the wrong chick. Right? But I add a ton of value to people's lives, yet I still get these toxic little worms every now and then who are going to try to piggyback on my subscriber base, my channel for traffic for their own benefit, then run ads on their shitty little videos, and then go, hey, he's a scam, he's a scam, even though I'm like piggybacking on his subscriber base and trying to get more subscribers through him by calling him out for being a scam when I'm really scamming and running ads on my channel. Go screw yourselves. <laughs> Right? Go screw yourselves. But that is the first sign that your friends are losers and you need to drop them when everything that they see is impossible. It can't be done. It must be a scam. Right? You can't get six pack abs. You can't make money online. You can't pick up girls. It's impossible. It's impossible. Nobody out there is dating. Nobody out there is having sex. Why? Because I'm not. So nobody is. Right? Get rid of these guys. So that's the number one sign that you wanna look for. All right, the number two sign that your friends are losers, which coincides with what we just talked about, is they try to pull you down to their negative state constantly. They're constantly doing that crabs in the bucket shit. If you guys don't know about the crabs in the bucket theory, it's basically where you put one crab in a bucket, that crab is not gonna to try to get out. But if you put two crabs in the bucket, they're gonna to try to pull each other down and keep each other from escaping. And if you have friends who are the same way, where they are fearful of you becoming successful and leaving them behind, and they demonstrate that little bitch attitude, right? You gotta cut them off. You can't have friends like that that are going to be trying to bring you down to their level. Because again, misery loves company. Misery does not like to be alone. And you'll notice people who are very just negative and toxic like that, they're like energy vampires, right? They're constantly zapping you of energy, constantly telling you why it can't be done, why you're never gonna succeed, you're not good enough, you're too fat, you're too old, you're too slow, it's only for rich people, it's only for good looking guys. Right? You're never going to make it. You got to cut those guys off. Okay? You got to cut those guys off. Yeah, sure, you want to be realistic, right? You want to be realistic, but also you want to have a sense of belief in yourself. Okay? You want to have almost a delusional sense of confidence in yourself in order to really achieve big things out there, things that are larger than life. Okay, in order to do that, you have to be larger than life. And you can't have friends who <laughs> do not want to be larger than life, who want to stay average, who want to stay in that failing or coping stage as we just talked about. Because obviously you want to thrive. And again, this goes for the YouTube mentors and the YouTube channels that you follow. Right? If you're following trolly shit, if you're following prank channels and guys who are just like trolling people all day, those guys are pathetic. They're never going to be able to help you. They're sad. They're pathetic. And I've, like I said, I've mentioned this. I've seen these guys at, you know, the YouTube conferences. When you see these guys, you could see that negative energy affecting them. It's, it's almost like surrounding them, right? They stink because of the negative energy they put out there. You know, we live in a karmic universe. The negative energy you put out there comes back at you threefold. That's why I try to stay positive at all times. I don't let people suck me down to their level. Even these other channels that try to call me out, right? The, like I was just talking about, these small, like tiny channels that try to piggyback on my traffic, try to call me out for any little tiny detail that they disagree with. They'd create a whole YouTube video about it. I can't believe these guys spend their entire like their days, it's like a sad, pathetic way to live. And some guys even ask like, how come you don't respond to them? Why, why just respond to them? And I'm like, no dude, because A, anybody who does response videos, like what they're doing, that shit is so beta to the core, it's insane. 
I've seen other YouTubers that I once respected get into these YouTube response battles with people, with other YouTubers, and they just, both of them just kill their values. They both look so pathetic. As I teach you guys, I'm a pickup artist, okay? I've been doing this my entire adult life. I teach it and I live it, okay? As I teach you guys, pickup is not a light switch you turn on and off. You don't just like all of a sudden see a hurt hot girl and be like, oh, time to turn on that pickup artist switch, I gotta go. No, it's just gotta be on, right? It's gotta be on at all times. And one of the big core fundamentals I teach my pickup students is the art of being non-reactive. Because when you approach a beautiful girl and she shit tests you, and believe me, she will shit test you, right? She might take shots at you, might, she might try to insult you. If you start like reacting and like, oh, yeah, no, you stupid bitch, I'm not, my shirt's cool, it's not ugly. You know, and you start reacting, she's gonna be like, ha, huh, I knew it, you're a little bitch, go away, you know? But when you stay icy, that's a term that many top pickup artists who are very skilled demonstrate, right? The ability to stay icy, not only in front of a beautiful woman, but in any intense situation, right? I'm out in bars and venues four to five times per week. And there are times where I get into tense situations, right? You know, there might be a white knight, a mangina who might have overheard what I was saying to the girl, like I might have been nagging her too hard. He might try to step in, hey dude, what's up? I heard what you said to her, what's up, what's up? I've, I've literally had guys come in my face, marching in front, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Right, guys are much bigger than me. You know what, I don't back down. I stay exactly where I am. I don't let him pull me into his frame. I don't let him suck me into his reality. I stay icy. And while he's getting all riled up, what's up, what's up, what's up? I'm just icy. I don't budge, okay? And then I take control of the situation. And if I feel a conversation is necessary, I'll say, okay, what did you not agree with? Is this your business? It's not your business. And then I'll, I'll just rip him apart verbally because I'm great with verbal sparring. That's another little pickup artist skill that you learn in field. You gotta be great with verbal sparring. I know how to touch points that will stick, that will hurt, that will linger in your mind for years. Okay, a lot of psychology to it. But I've been in field that long. And again, one of the big things you learn is to stay icy and non-reactive, right? It's not because you're trying to stay icy and non-reactive, it's just who you are. You don't react to little bitch behavior. Just like when a girl shit tests me, I don't respond to that, right? I just stay icy and I go forward with what I want from her. I don't let her little immature insults or emotional tirades affect me or pull me out of my state. Just like I don't let these little bitches on YouTube who do these little response videos trying to call me out on shit, it doesn't affect me because I'm adding value to my subscribers. What are you doing? You're just being a toxic little worm. You're just creating your universe, right? And my universe is not like that. And I do not let little worms pull me down to their toxic, I just don't let them pull me down. You could create as many videos as you want about me. It's great. And it just shows the world what a little moron you are, how isolated you are, and how you're not getting laid. Because it always boils back to not getting laid, right? Everything, funny enough, everything about men sucking at life always boils back to not getting laid. Because anytime I meet a guy who's getting laid, he's happy. <laughs> right? He's not doing toxic little shit like that. That's why you don't see me doing shit like that. You don't see me responding to that because not only am I happy and getting laid, but it's just not my way. Any energy or free time that I have, I dedicate to adding value to my subscribers' lives, to doing these coaching videos, to working on my business, to making sure that my employees that are around the world stay employed because I do have employees. This is a business, okay? This is my primary business. And I have a responsibility to not only myself, but my employees who need to feed their families. Almost every single one of my employees is married. They have children, right? 
they have dreams of their own. They want to buy their own houses. They want to buy their own nice cars. They want to provide for their kids, pay for their education, and they work for me. It is my responsibility to those people to make sure I am dedicated to adding value to my subscribers' lives because that is how you get rich, by adding value to the people who follow you, to other men's lives and women's lives, right? And if I were to take even a minute of my day to respond to some little worm on YouTube, who's like, ah, look, he said this, and it's not true. Not only would I look like a little bitch, no different than him, responding, but I'm doing a disservice to my employees who depend on me to feed their families, to keep the business growing and successful. So that is the number two sign that your friend's a loser and you need to let him go is when they are trying to bring you down to their level, when they're trying to bring down your state and zap you of energy because they're constantly being toxic, they're constantly being negative, they're constantly telling you what you can't do and what you can do and how you're, you're not good enough and you're never gonna make it, okay? Just because they're never gonna make it. Let them go. Even if they're family members, you gotta let them go, guys. Let them go. And the third and final sign that your friend's a loser and you gotta cut him off, and this just, again, coincides with what we just talked about, is when all they're ever doing is smack talking other people. All they ever do is talk shit about everyone else instead of looking at themselves. Okay, another lesson we teach you in game and pickup is blame yourself first. Always blame yourself first. It's always your fault. Anything went wrong in your life, guess what? Your fault. You could have made a different decision. It's always your fault. Because when you come from the state where it's always your fault, that is when you are gonna grow. That is when you're gonna learn to take responsibility for your actions, and that is when you are going to start becoming a man. Because a man takes responsibility. A man is accountable. A man wants to be accountable. But a boy, the boy inside of you, doesn't wanna be accountable. The boy inside of you wants to blame everyone else. It's everyone else's fault. Everyone is evil. I'm the good one. I'm the good person. Everyone else is evil. And this is why I teach guys in my alpha training program, in order for the man to live, the boy must die. Okay, remember that. In order for the man to live, the man inside of you, the boy must die. The boy inside of you must die. You cannot coexist. You cannot have the little boy inside of you while trying to be a man. The boy must die. So if you have any friends that are toxic like that, where all they do is talk shit about everyone else, but they never talk shit about themselves, they cannot see their own faults before pointing out everyone else's, they're losers, okay? You have to get rid of them. For them, anyone who's successful, they've got nothing but bad things to say about them, Whenever you go, hey, this guy made it, look, he's totally making things happen. And they'll be like, yeah, but that guy, this, this, and this, right? They'll constantly, they, they never have anything good to say about anyone but themselves, right? This is a key, uh, key trait of uh, being narcissistic too. Narcissists are like this. They can't see their own faults, but they love to point it out in others. It's like whenever I get a commenter on YouTube who like, who tries to call me out being like, you know, because they disagree with the video, they're like, dude, you're a narcissist, narcissist, you know? And it's like, you don't see your own self-projection. You don't see that you're the one who is so triggered by this coaching video and you lack so much empathy because you only see your own world and you fail to see that other people have their own individual thoughts, desires, beliefs, values. You think it's all about you, yet you sit here and call another person a narcissist. By the way, that's a key trait of uh, being a narcissist is a narcissist will constantly call out other people for being what they are. They cannot see their own hypocrisy. They cannot see their own reflection in the mirror. Right? So whenever you have one of these friends like shit talking somebody who's successful, right? Like uh, some guru, really what they're doing is self-projecting. They're self-projecting all of the things they don't like about themselves onto this other person, right? One of the guys I follow on YouTube, you guys will laugh, but I do follow Ty Lopez, <laughs> right? I like Ty, right? I, 
I have learned a lot from Ty. Okay, I've learned a lot from Ty Lopez. And he has a ton of haters. Okay, he has a ton of haters. Right, I have my share of haters, but he definitely has a ton of haters. Right, and one thing you always have to ask yourself when it comes to haters, anybody who's bagging on you, is who would you, whose life would you rather have? Would you rather have the person being hated on or would you rather have the hater's life? I guarantee you, 100% of the time, without fail, you would rather have the life of the person who's being hated on, right? If you look at Ty Lopez, would you rather have Ty Lopez's life or would you have, rather have one of his haters' lives, <laughs> right? No, you would rather have Ty Lopez's life, right? You'd rather live in this mansion, all these beautiful women walking around, driving Ferrari, driving Lambo. You'd rather have that life rather than living in a tiny basement living the life of the hater on your computer, hiding behind your fake YouTube profile or your cartoon image YouTube profile. That's another thing that bothers me is a lot of these guys who do these like toxic little response videos never show their faces. Never show their faces. They might have like one profile photo, they might have like flashed once, never show their faces. They're always hiding behind a cartoon face or just some like image. They're never showing their faces. I mean, I put my face out there why? Because I'm not a pussy. Like a lot of these cowards are. They're pussies. That's why they can't put their face out there. That's why they're so brave to say what they say. They, can they say that in person? Like you think any of these guys, if they saw me like at a venue, they would walk up and be able to say that in person? <laughs> no. You know why? Because they know they get their ass kicked. Okay? That's one venue you can't hide from. But as long as you're hiding behind your, your computer and trying to do these call out videos, you're just a pussy. You're just a pussy. Yeah, otherwise, you'd put your face out front. You would do all your videos like I do with your face out front. Okay, every single coaching video I do, I put my face to it. I used to work in corporate America, right? Was making a six figure income. Do you think I can ever go back? No. If I ever apply to another corporation, they will find my YouTube channel. Even if I try to get rid of it, they will find it. And they'll be like, you know all these content videos you did? Mm -mm, we can't have you. My corporate career is over. Right? I can never have that type of job again because I put my face out there. At least if I hid behind like, an, like a, a fake profile or something like that, I could always say, no, that wasn't me. That was somebody else. But obviously I put my face out. Corporate career is over. So I have nothing but entrepreneurship, my business. Another lesson I teach you guys, burn the boats, right? Burn the boats so you only have one choice. Do not give yourself backup options. But I would put my face out there because I'm not a pussy. I'm not a coward. I was raised in a two parent household, not by a single mother. Right. My dad taught me to stand by my beliefs, stand by my values. And that's what I do. Money I make, I donate money. I give to charities. I help animals, right? I'm a big animal lover. So I donate there. These haters, where are they donating? Who are they helping? Nobody. They're, help they're helping themselves. That's why their channels will never grow to this level, okay? You don't reach this level by being a little bitch, by being a coward, by, be, by hiding behind your computer. A lot of these guys are shocked by the dramatic increase in my subscriber base. You know why? Because there's a real face to it, because I put my face out there, because I'm not a little bitch, unlike you. Speaks volumes about how you're raised. Can't stand behind what you say, because you hide. So if you have any friends in your life who are like this, male or female, that are constantly talking badly about anyone you admire, anybody you find successful that you want to learn from, and they have nothing but bad, negative, shitty things to say, yet they have nothing but good things to say about themselves, 86 them, get rid of them, okay? Because they're just gonna bring you down to their level. And those are my top three signs for how to know if your friends are losers. So until next time, this is Matt Cross from Alpha Male Secrets. Don't forget to smash that like button below. Also hit that notification bell right next to it so that you are notified whenever I release a brand new coaching video here on YouTube. More importantly guys, please make sure you subscribe to my channel 
A lot of you guys are watching my coaching videos. You're still not yet subscribed to my channel, so please do that. It helps me out a ton when you do. So hit that subscribe button as well. It's free, it doesn't cost anything. So please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. It tells YouTube that you love my content, you're digging it, and you want me to produce more. And every time I upload a new video to YouTube, you're going to be the first to get it. You're gonna be the first to get notified when you're subscribed to my channel. So please do that. And for you guys who want to support my work and my content and all of this red pill knowledge I'm teaching guys here even further, the best way to do that is by becoming a premium subscriber of my premium Alpha Male Secrets channel, which I am hosting on a private platform away from YouTube. And the first month is only a buck for the entire first month of coaching lessons that you're going to be able to use over and over for the rest of your life, for the remainder of your lifetime. Okay, these are high value lessons that they did not teach you in school, that parents, teachers, and society failed to teach you at school, and that the feminist machine doesn't want you to know, doesn't want you to learn. Okay, these are lessons that were robbed from us in school, high school, college, that again, society failed to teach us. They're too busy empowering women. Nobody's watching out for us. So you're gonna get a lot of value out of the lessons that I have to teach you on my premium alpha male secrets channel but in order to access those lessons you have to become a premium subscriber and right now i'm giving away the first month the entire first month of coaching lessons for just one buck just one dollar so if you want to take advantage of it it's real simple all you need to do is click that link below in my description box it will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now it just takes two seconds so do that now and i will see you in my next coaching video